All right, I've got uh, former New York Governor George Pataki, a Republican, a Republican and Democratic state that served this fine state for not one, not two, but three terms. That is unfathomable. Always amazes me. Um, good to have you, Governor. Thank you very much. Neil, great being former with president you, of Canada. You know, early on, you were not a big fan of Donald Trump's. Um, even when he wasn't targeting you, just didn't like what you were hearing, the tone you were hearing. And even now, you say anyone but Trump, but you're supporting John Kasich. Right. Uh, his best shot is get them changing rules to allow him to be on the ballot in the first place. But why not Ted Cruz? Uh, I don't have any reason not to support Ted Cruz. I just think John Kasich, uh, first of all, uh, if the polls show he will beat Hillary. He will trounce Hillary. He's the only one who does it. And second of all, he's been a governor. The polls can be fleeting. The polls can be fleeting, but I think that people like Kasich. They like his ability to bring people together. They like his experience. He's been governor of one of the most important states. Why hasn't states. he been able to close the deal in his own party? Well, Does I that say something or a weakness that would be a problem in a general election? I don't think so. I think that there, obviously Donald Trump has sucked the oxygen out of the room, for, for better or worse, in my view, for worse. Then what uh, do you think of the Jerry Adela who say, if it's Trump, I'll support Hillary Clinton? Well, I, the answer to that is that it can't be Trump. Uh, and I so still what would think, you do if it is Trump? Uh, I hope that we can uh, uh, do well enough tonight in New York that he will not get all the delegates. But let's so say that, he does. So that a Ted well, Cruz or a John Kasich? Would a, would, would a George it would be Pataki, a hard decision. So you couldn't make up your mind and say that quickly? I do not think Hillary Clinton should be president of the United States. All right, States. so you'd vote for Trump. Period. We'll see. Okay. Um, you know, the Trump people say uh, they've done a lot to help this party, so who's the party to come back and, 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 and trifle with him? What do you say to the, all the millions he's brought in, Democrats who changed party affiliation just to get the chance to vote for him? That you're missing it. It's not about the party, it's about the country deal. We're choosing the president of the United States. And we're supposed to say, even though I don't think Donald Trump's fit to be president, the fact he's brought people to the Republican Party, I should overlook all his failings. I don't think so. There were a lot of uh, people who didn't think Ronald Reagan, despite being a California governor, they saw him through the prison as an actor and that, that he wasn't up to the job. He, he did okay. He was a successful governor in the biggest uh, state in the country. He had a clear political philosophy. Well, this guy Trump in this city has a, a pretty good business career. Uh, well, I, I think it's the ultimate use of political cronyism, you know, zoning changes and tax benefits and everything. For Donald Trump to now be running as the uh, outsider Maybe we need that in a president. Maybe we need uh, that I, I, don't th I don't think we need Donald Trump. All right. uh, governor Kasich, a great leader. I hope he gets at least a dozen delegates tonight. All right, we'll see. Anything to deny Donald Trump that nomination? That's your goal, right? To have the Republicans win right. in November, Donald Trump will not. All right.